All right, you guys ready to go camping? Yes, sir. Let's roll. All right, we just got to make a quick stop for a couple extra groceries and some ice. What do you mean you can't talk to your sister? We're gonna just not. Weird. You're just not gonna talk all weekend. No, Cheyenne, let's go. I was opening it for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Just don't take all the ice. Uh, 16 pounds. Get my workout in. Oh, I did I thought you didn't want that to move right No, now. I wanted I thought it'd be cool. So we made it to Lake Wales. This is the town we're gonna be camping in and now to the campsite. So we're staying two nights, three days, two nights at this campsite. I believe it's called Walk in the Water. It's part of, um, so Florida has state parks, but then they also have state forests. Forests. Yeah, you're gonna like this honey store. This is really cool, guys. If you're ever in Lake Wales, come check out this place. Struthers honey made from local real beeswax. Check this out, guys. They bottle up all this honey. Big jugs, medium jugs. The prices are right on top. Little jugs. Pretty cool place. What do you think, Shane? Cool. So what you do is you go over here and you pick out what honey or what product you want. It's a uh, self-service, price is marked on containers. They call it the honor system. You put your money right there. Thank you, God bless, off you go. That is really, really cool. Did you bring money, Cheyenne? Yes, I did. You brought money? Yes. All right. <laughs> Let's get this guy right here. Let's go. to turn turn around three point turn Teach was daddy too busy gawking <laughs> yeah I was gawking a little pond over there like some funky water in it she said four Honey, I'm home. You're all tangled up, dork.
Ah, see, you got it. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to jump up here. <laughs> All right, Cheyenne, Ricky's going to try to throw that Gatorade bottle past you into that tub in the back of the truck without hitting you. And he's got to go low because there's a tree up there, so he can't arch it too high. Okay. Ready? Ooh. Oh, almost. So the kids forgot their tent and we forgot the AC <laughs> and the generator. All right, guys, this is our home, sweet home. I'm going to hang a chain on it to hang the Dutch oven over the fire. Boo! Did you see my double chin? No, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, we are out here at Walk in the Water Campground. We're all set up. Let me show you around a little bit. Um, there's our tent back there. Let me flip you guys around. Start over here. Here's our uh, campfire. Probably didn't need to tell you all that. So you saw me putting this tree up. That's pretty cool. Ricky found this tree laying back there, that dead tree. Maybe let me zoom in on it and because it has bark on it so I want you all to see that it is a dead tree because some of y'all will comment Rich is out there cutting down real trees this joker is dead okay um, anyway we've got a picnic table and a fire ring at this campsite there's no water there's no electricity they did give us also this little cool place to someone put in the comments what this thing is for is this to hang your trash or is it to hang your lantern or is it to just you figure it out hang whatever you want from it but what's the objective Cheyenne is over there hi Cheyenne you saw her earlier she's chilling in the hammock she is in the Sun but that's gonna be nice later tent propane is gonna go in there later with the buddy heater it is supposed to get down into the 50s tonight now we've got a siren going in the background. Hold on one second. All right, now that that's done. Um, so we brought two vehicles because we had so much stuff we wanted to bring. We're here for three days. So there's my truck right there, unloaded. Jen's car, and then check this out. Um, this is how big, I'll go out here and circle around and show you how big this campsite is. This one is called an RV and tent site. So, man, it's huge. I mean, if you, if I back up and show you, uh, so here's the road coming in. And then here's those posts way over there are like the back of our campsite. Um, our tent is over behind the truck that way. And then we have all this space and it pretty much goes, I believe all this is still ours because it runs up this way and then stops over here. So it looks like that is where site five starts anybody ever heard of that company
Guess what message I just got? Appointment. Appointment to get your braces on next week. Ooh, this might be one of the last videos you're in with the Outdoors with Rich without braces. That's true. Want me to swing you around see if I can make you do a flip in that hammock? No, okay. I'm hot. That's why I'm thinking about getting out. Yeah, you're out in the sun. You need to get over here in the shade. All right, guys. So what's going on here is I'm having to break up, break out the laptop. For some of you may know, I still use my camera to film all of my Outdoors with Rich videos. Of course I use my camera. I meant to say I use my phone. My phone camera. I have the Samsung 20 phone that I've been recording all of these videos on since the beginning. And I am looking at getting a new camera. Cheyenne, what's the, do you remember the name of that Sony Z, Sony Z1? It's the, Z, it's the Sony vlogging camera. I was going with, I was looking towards GoPro and I've heard so many things about GoPro is just having troubles even after the 11th series generation. A lot of people are going to that DJI, DJI Osmo 3, which looks like a great camera. But I'm kind of leaning towards the Sony um, vlogging camera. So let me know in the comments if you guys have any opinions, um, experience with any of that. But back to why I have the laptop out, I have to, about every day, I have to drop all the clips off of this uh, phone so it doesn't run out of storage. So I'm hoping to not ever have that issue with one of the Sony cameras because I can just rotate, you know, SD cards. But anyway, that's what we're up to right now. All right, guys, I'm a little bummed. Um, well, first of all, we're heading into town. It's about just after lunchtime. We didn't eat lunch because we had a late breakfast, um, but we're heading into town to just kind of see what we see. We're thinking about maybe having some ice cream or some sort of dessert for lunch because we had such a big breakfast and a late breakfast. Speaking of breakfast, uh, it won't be in this video. That's what I'm bummed about. Um, we tried to transfer, well we did transfer all of our videos and footages, footage to the laptop and then onto an external hard drive so that it would free up um, my camera space. We had about a day's worth of stuff. So everything from about 2 o'clock yesterday all throughout the night we had some I forget what all we did during the time we cooked burgers I know for dinner we sat around the fire we didn't do the popcorn uh, which we're gonna do tonight hopefully um, anyway just really really bummed last night's dinner and everything from 2 o'clock this morning to include breakfast this morning which was fantastic it was bacon it was fried eggs over potatoes that's all I think just gone um, we're going to try to do some stuff on the laptop and download an app that might be able to recover. We've looked at recents, recycle bins, all that. Anyway, we're going to still uh, see what God has in store for this video. Um, if it's gone, we're going to file that under part of God's plan and still make an awesome video for you guys between now and the rest of the um, trip. We're staying another night. We have a fantastic dinner scheduled for tonight hopefully we'll keep the video footage of that so stick around keep watching we're going to keep putting excitement into this video and try to make it the best that uh, we can talk to you soon probably not supposed to be driving out here but i saw something cool so i saw something up here 
when we passed a second ago. It looked like a train or something crossing the road. Kind of cool. So we were supposed to be going to this place called Maggie's Ice Cream. I think that's what it's called. And then I got all discombobulated. Oh, there's a cool mural, Cheyenne. See it out there? Oh, yeah, that's cool. We're supposed to be going down here to find Maggie's, but we might have to bail because everybody's got their chairs set up for some parade or something. There's Maggie Mays. No, you reckon that's far enough? <laughs> Ready, Mace? You want to get some ice cream? Nope, you don't get ice cream. Hey guys, we made it. Can you hear us in there? Probably not. Hello. Hello. All right, well, thank you. We'll see you next time. So anyway, if you are ever in the historic, that's where we are, historic district. Historic district of Lake Wales. Go check out this place, Maggie Mays, right? Maggie Mays. So we're gonna go check out this lake and this little boat ramp down here. All right, you guys want to know the name of this lake? Holy cow, look at them white caps out there. The name of this lake is Waki Haki Tuki Chapa Kaka. All right, all seriousness, let me, while it's still on my screen, can y'all see that? That's, it's a, what is that? Wio Wio Hayakapka? Anyway, there you have it. Oh yeah. And then that <laughs> sign says Lake Walking Water. Let's go with that one. So anyway, looks like a big lake. Place to launch your boat. And then they have um, a couple picnic tables. A couple porta potties. That's about it. Alright, we are back. There's that porta john I might go use here in a minute. That probably was TMI. Oh, what a spiral. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Comfy? I heard you. You got a nice backdrop here. Mm -hmm. Behind you. Look some up. 
That's what I'm looking at right now. This is what you're looking at. Oh, that's Cheyenne's view right there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that almost hit her. Well, good. I think I might have been able to catch it. If good thing my athleticism there. got it all up in there. Oh, yeah. I thought you were trying to catch it and grab her. I, I was, but it was a little far, so all I could really do was hit it. Have you guys ever had one of these? Mountain House Ice Cream Sandwich. So my wife got me and the kids one of these for Valentine's Day. I thought it was going to be something where you had water and it, you know, that's how Mountain House is. But this joker right here, it says, ready to, eat. ready to eat. No drip, no mess. This is a real ice cream sandwich with real vanilla ice cream cream between two delicious cookie wafers. No mess, it's already everywhere. It's pretty good, guys. It's weird because if you've had an ice cream sandwich before and it looks just like it, it tastes just like it. It's just crunchy instead of soft and it's not cold. That's the weird part. Today, we are making popcorn. Just get yourself any popcorn off the shelf. As long as it's the kernels, you know what you're talking about or what I'm talking about. I got some Orville Redenbacher, and we're gonna show you how to make popcorn on the campfire in a Dutch oven. One of the keys to it is to be able to hang, and I'll show you in a minute. I got drug this really long branch um, out of the woods and propped it up on another tree and just tied it off with like a Canadian jam knot But anyway hang the Dutch oven if you can over a tripod something like that over your fire because you're gonna want to be able to control the heat a little bit Dutch oven popcorn stay tuned <laughs> All right, guys, first we're gonna put this oil in the bottom of the Dutch oven. We're gonna cover the whole bottom. That's the first step, but you don't wanna have it so much that it's gonna totally submerge your kernels. We're gonna put a few kernels in. Once one of them pops, that's our indicator that we can go ahead and cover the rest of our Dutch oven with popcorn kernels. We're good over there, a little bit more over here. That's probably good. All right, so we got those three or four kernels in there. What we're waiting for is to see one of those pop. Once it pops, our oil is good to go. We want to put the rest in. Then we're going to put the lid on. So you can leave the lid off for this part, put the lid on, and you're going to listen to it popping. Just like when you pop um, popcorn in the microwave, you can kind of tell when it's done. When this is almost done, we're going to get it off the fire, but leave the lid on for probably another 15 or 20 seconds. When you have it on the fire and it's going, you wanna be able to just shake it a little bit so it's gonna help with not burning. It's gonna turn out fantastic, guys, watch. You can see that oil starting to bubble around. Oh, there it went. You guys see it? You wanna get these popcorns out, though. The lid on here. Listen to them pop until the popping starts to settle down a little bit. Then get it off the fire. It's probably better to go too soon than not soon enough. Ah. See some of them still popping in there? Hear that grease going? Get my car heart long sleeve t-shirt. Hey guys. How big do you think my channel needs to be or how good do you think I need to get? I mean, I got a, I got on Carhartt shoes. If I could <laughs> put my foot up that high, I wouldn't need Carhartt. But um, I got on Carhartt shoes. I got on me a Carhartt hat. I got on me a Carhartt t-shirt. What do you think it would take for Carhartt to maybe send me a couple items? What I'd like to do is agree to have like my next 50 videos 
all every one of them without fail wearing a Carhartt hat. Does any Little bit of butter and Old Bay in here, guys. Corn's already really cooked. We're just trying to season it up. So what are we having for dinner? Well, first of all, we're gonna take this sausage and cut it up and mix this in with some shrimp. You saw Jen already cutting up the potatoes. You saw her wrapping up the corn. So this is like a boil, except we're doing the things different. This guy that's gonna hang, that's got the potatoes in there. This is a must. We got some corns on the cob, the little you know ones that really just need to heat up. It's shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. Do we have any side dishes or that's kind of like all? That's it. That's side it. Dishes. Side dishes, main course, everything but the dessert and the wine, all in a bucket on a plate in a pan in the butter with Old Bay. And my Carhartt shirt. Speaking of sleeping fine, do not throw this out. I'm gonna use it for something. Maybe two or three times tonight. You're gonna throw it at someone when you start snoring? Well, no. Oh. <laughs> but I'm not getting out of the tent two or three times in the middle of the night this time, so <laughs> can you put that in the tent? Yeah, but that's not gonna work for me. You're gonna have to cut the top off. For some reason, every time I go camping, I got a tinkle. I hope you're enjoying the video. We're probably sitting somewhere around 830 subscribers as we make this video. And um, I just want to thank every one of you who've watched one or commented on one or shared an idea about one. We're trying to, you know, take this thing, you know, all the way. And we're going to let God define what all the way is. But I just want to say, you know, if you can give this video a thumbs up or give it a like, and the reason is we think we got a lot more cool stuff for you to, uh, for you know, coming your way. So it's going to give you the opportunity to, you know, kind of know when that gets released. It also lets the algorithm or the channel know that you're enjoying this, this kind of stuff. We appreciate the feedback. But don't go anywhere. We got dinner coming up. Man, if y'all could smell this old bay cooking up in this sausage, I'm telling you what. Meanwhile, over here we have the corn and the potatoes are ready. Uh, corn's just heating up on the fire grill here we got going on. We're just heating it up. Yeah. Hi, Macy girl. Macy girl. <laughs> I think I hear him. All right, let's get this ready for some uh, shrimp to go in. Get this a little butter going. All right, we got that butter going good. Let's get that shrimp going. Pretty good, guys. Yeah. Good teamwork. All right, guys. Well, that was a really delicious dinner. Uh, we enjoyed that a lot. Thank you so much uh, for sticking with us all day and this far into the video. We're going to enjoy some time around the fire and see you in the morning.
What do you call a tissue with no booger? Well, good morning. Whoa. Look at that surfer fade thing going. What are you laughing at? I'm not laughing. Oh. Here's our situation in the tent. There's the kiddos. We got Macy girl. So, oh no, where's Macy? There's Macy. You won't have to come out. We're just saying hi. Did you sleep good, Mace? You did? Oh, good. Come on, Mace. Come here. Let's go see if something got on our trail cam. Or at least ate any of the goodies that we put out there for it. We had two of these pieces of bread. And then this apple. Guys, there's nothing on that freaking camera. There's nine pictures of me uh, this morning. Going and picking it out. Looking at the food and all that. The food is missing. So the camera's taking pictures. But whatever it is, it's so small. It just didn't trigger the camera. Whatever ghost is out here eating our apples. Um, I don't know. We gotta get you a bigger bowl, Mace. This is an old um, canister from Planter's Sunflower Seeds. Traditional pop tart breakfast. Strawberry this time. Oh, coffee's ready. If you've got carpet like this and truck, whatever it might be, um, just know that you can stick some Velcro. I don't know if you can see that. Get you some Velcro to stick on things. I got the uh, 10 pound Velcro and things will stick in there. We bump around, drive on dirt roads, won't, won't come off. Ricky taught me that. I bump my head on this almost every time. And that's going to do it on this episode of The Outdoors with Rich. Good girl, Mace. We're going home. You ready to go home? Give everyone a kiss. <laughs>